Let's bring in Vicky Price, board member at the Centre for Economics and Business Research. She joins us live from London. Welcome back to the programme, Vicky. Now, the Summer Olympics haven't managed to attract nearly as many visitors as France had expected. What's turning travellers away and what's this costing the French economy? Well, to a considerable extent, what is turning them away is the cost, the concerns about what is actually happening in the centre of Paris, whether it's going to be difficult to move around. Um, and uh, uh, there is no doubt at all that some of the international tourists have not come um, because they're worried about similar things, including, of course, the fact that airlines have put their fares up quite significantly. Um, and that's a problem. I think the costs go up and the result is that people uh, stay away. And if you look at hotel prices, for example, in Paris, they're about 80 uh, odd percent higher than they were a year ago, even in places outside Paris where some of the games are being held, like in Lille, you've seen increases of over 100%. I think in Lille is something like 130%, very, very substantial increase in, in prices. But before we get too worried about the occupancy rate, for example, in hotels, there has been a very active Airbnb market that has been taking place. So lots of people are staying in, in areas or in, in uh, accommodation, which is perhaps a little bit cheaper. But even there, we hear that prices are being slashed because not enough people are coming. Right, and this is also expected to impact airlines uh, with Air France KLM and Delta Airlines, both uh, expecting upwards of $100 million. How is this going to affect uh, tourism this summer? Well, people are going somewhere else, of course. Uh, they're going to other parts of, of Paris, sorry, of France rather than Paris. Uh, or going to other countries. So there's been a big increase in tourism, as we know, uh, going to southern Europe. So uh, they have perhaps benefited from the fact that people have been avoiding France. So it shouldn't really be affecting airlines overall, but certainly their flights to uh, France will be affected and they may be losing some money on, on that. But we need to bear in mind that all these things are short term. Things recover, go back to normal, but also in terms of the Olympics generally, Yes, uh, one looks very much at what happens in the year, in the period when the Olympics are being held. But in fact, the impact and the benefit is much longer. You asked about the cost. Yes, of course, it's quite significant. Um, it's probably only about 25 percent higher than they had budgeted, which is not bad by comparison to the fact that the London Olympics cost three times as much as had been originally budgeted. But there's been a lot of money going in from the private sector. Uh, a lot of infrastructure spent and buildings, construction, uh, things that will affect and benefit, one hopes, Paris over a longer period, where the, the calculation is that the net benefits could be overall at over uh, 11 billion euros. Right, Vicky, maybe we will see a last minute travel boom there in Paris. Thank you very much for your insights. Thank you.